if you know what is the real roots of your anger, you can also transform your anger. First, you think that uh, your anger has been given to you by the one outside. That something he, he said or he, he did caused your anger. But you don't know that the main cause of your anger is the seed of anger in you that is very important. Other people, when they hear such a thing or they, 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 they see such a thing, they don't get angry like you because the seed of anger in them is smaller. The seed of anger in you is very big. That is why uh, you get ang angry so easily. And that is why we have to accept the fact that uh, the main cause of your suffering or your anger is the seed of anger in you is too big. And your son should be able to recognize that. And not to blame everything on the environment, on the other person. That's one thing to see. The other thing to see is that um, someone who does not know to handle his uh, anger, his suffering, will spill it over to other people. When someone is angry, he suffers, she suffers. And because uh, she does not know how to handle the energy of anger, she makes people around her suffer, including her beloved ones. And that is someone to be helped and not to punish. When you see the suffering of that person, you don't want to punish him anymore. You know that you have to help him to transform the anger in him. But you cannot help him unless you know how to do it by yourself. If you don't know how to go home to you with mindfulness, recognize, embrace, and transform your anger, you cannot help the other person to, to transform his or her anger. That is why help yourself first. And Buddhist meditation offers you very concrete ways of recognizing, embracing, calming, and transforming your anger. And if you go to your son with that, uh, that techniques that you have mastered, and then you can help him. Otherwise, any advice would not help. Everyone knows that anger is not good for us and for other people. Everyone know, know that. The fact is that uh, they cannot help it. They are overwhelmed by the, by the energy of violence of anger. And that is why everyone should learn the art of embracing anger and transforming it. And the first step is to learn how to breathe mindfully, to smile to your own anger, to embrace your anger tenderly like a mother embracing her baby. And this is something I have done. Many friends of mine have done it. Uh, we know that uh, when anger manifests in us, we should not do something, anything. We should not uh, say anything. Because uh, doing something out of anger, saying something out of anger will bring about uh, negative things that will make us regret later. That is why when anger manifests, the best thing to do is uh, to practice mindful breathing, mindful walking to take care of our anger and not to try to, to talk or to do something with the per person we think to be the cause of our anger. The question is whether sometimes anger helps has been asked me so many times. In fact, if, uh, if someone made you ang angry, you not, should not try to suppress your anger because suppressing anger may be very dangerous. Using the energy of mindfulness to recognize your anger and embrace it uh, tenderly is what we should do. It's much safer. And uh, that does not mean that you do not have the right to tell him or her that you are angry, that you suffer, 
that he has done something, he has said something that makes you suffer, that you are angry. But you can very well tell him or tell her with love and speech. In Plum Village, we advise our friends to do like this. In the deadline, uh, before the deadline of 24 hours, you have to tell him, you have to tell her that you are angry, you suffer, and you like him or her to know it. You don't have the right to keep your anger for yourself alone more than 24 hours. It's not healthy. You should tell him, you should tell her, but in calm speech. And if you cannot do it, with speaking, you can write it down on a piece of paper. And our friends remember, memorize well the formulas. You may like to try it. The first line you may write to him is, Darling, I suffer, I am angry, and I want you to know it. I don't know why you have done such a thing to me. I don't know why you have said such a thing to me. I suffer very much, I am angry. I want you to know. That is the content of the first uh, sentence. If you can say it, and then you have to write it down. And make sure to deliver it to her, to him, before the deadline. And you feel better. The second line, the second thing you might like to tell him or her is, you are doing your best. Darling, I am doing my best. It means I am practicing according to the teaching of the Buddha. I am, pra- I am practicing mindful breathing, mindful walking, generating the energy of mindfulness in order to take care of my anger, in order to bring a relief. And then I will be looking deeply into my anger to see what is the root of my anger. That is, uh, to see whether that is my wrong perception that has uh, created anger, or maybe because of some of your um, unskillfulness. Looking deeply is to find the root of your anger. And uh, generally it has uh, been born from our lack of uh, understanding and compassion. So the second line you write down is, Darling, I am doing my best. And when the other person reads that sentence, you have a lot of admiration for you. You are a person who knows how to handle your anger. You are a practitioner. You don't react angrily like other people. So that inspire her, that inspire him to practice the same. What have I done to her? What I have said that make her suffer like that, I have to look back. And that is an invitation for the other person to do the same. Very gentle very non-violent. Darling, I'm doing my best. And the third line, very difficult to say, to write down. Please help me. Please help me. Because usually when you get angry at him or her, you want to show that you don't need him or her. You want to prove that you can survive You can very well survive alone. And that is the pride that that always goes with anger. If you are are capable of writing it down, darling, I suffer. I need your help. You will suffer much less right away. Even if he he has not done anything, she has not done anything, the fact that you can bring yourself to write down that sentence will bring your anger down. Darling, I need your help. I'm sure that uh, when she got the message, she will think very deeply about it.
what I have done in order to make him angry like that. What I have said in order to make him angry that. So you are invited uh, her to meditate with you. I always advise my friend to write these three sentences down on a small sheet of paper the size of your credit card. And you slip, in, slip it into your wallet. Every time anger manifests, go home to yourself within mindfully, without mindfully, and take that piece of paper out and read them, read it. And you know exactly what to, to do and what not to do. And you are a real practitioner. And if you can uh, help your son, your partner, your husband, your wife, your daughter to do the same, that would be wonderful. And uh, you are both together on the path of uh, transformation and healing. And you can uh, transform the energy of anger and violence into the energy of understanding and compassion. When we are angry, we are not very lucid. That is why uh, acting out of anger will bring suffering. Sometimes you, pre- you can prevent and you can uh, pretend to be angry. But if you are really angry, don't do anything. Don't say anything. And you can tell him or tell her without anger that you suffer, that you are angry, that you want to, him to know it. And that is much better than to use your anger in order to prove something. There are those of us who think that the energy of anger can be very powerful. And if we make use of that energy, we will do a lot of things. If people are able to blow themselves up because they have a lot of anger, Anger is a tremendous amount, uh, kind of energy. It's true that the terrorists have a lot of anger in themselves. That is why they can do anything in order to punish. And if we are angry, and if we use anger as energy in order to punish them back, we are behaving in exactly the same way. And the teaching of the Buddha is that anger cannot, uh, can never remove anger. Anger can only promote more an- anger. Only understanding and compassion can put down the flame of anger in us and in the other person. Understanding and compassion is the only antidote for anger. And using that, you heal yourself and you help heal the people who are victims of anger. And that is why we cannot believe in the benefit of anger. Because anger will always bring more anger. Violence will always bring more violence. In a person-to-person relationship, that is true. In the relationship between one group of people with another group, one country with another country, the same is true, the same thing is true.